Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode number 57. Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. Um, this is going to be kind of a short episode because I don't have a lot of stuff to show, <laughs> but also because I'm not really feeling that good right now. Jesse started running a fever on Saturday morning, um, and it was running one on and off all Saturday and some of Sunday. And I think I'm catching a little bit of whatever he had. I don't, I thought initially that his was from teething because he is getting his back molars. But now I'm starting to feel like the little tingles in your throat of the beginning of sore throats. <laughs> We've been getting a lot of rain here and it's bringing in fall like weather already. Um, it's not super cool, but it's definitely like in the 70s and 80s, which is pretty cool for us, I guess. But with all the rain and the slightly cooler temperatures, I think it may be messing up my immune system. I do sometimes get easy, uh, easily sick, so I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but we're going to go and hop in. I do have one finished object, and I've got um, three active whips, I think. Um, most Two of the whips are for the crochet longs that I'm doing right now. Okay, I keep stopping and starting because I get phone calls. <laughs> but okay, let's just hop in. I'll start off with my finished object. It is a free pattern. It's called the Lime Verbena, which makes me think of Lemon Verbena, which is like a perfume on the house on Prairie that Laura loves because Miss Beetle wears it. <laughs> but um, it is a free pattern by Mar Marley Bird. Um, you can buy the PDF on Ravelry, but on her, if you go to her website, it's free. And I'm pretty sure she has a video tutorial on it, but it's like a smaller shawl. I'll show it to you. I can't really put it on it now because it'll make weird noises with my microphone. But it's just um, a triangle shawl. You know, you can wear it with the point in the front or even off to the side if you liked. I wanted to make this for myself because um, I have a scarf that I use a lot that I crocheted. But I wanted some other things, different styles and different colors to go with different outfits um, as it gets colder. And this is a really neat pattern. It's You start on one end with like two stitches, I think it is. And you, you build all the way up to the point and then you go back down the other side and end with two stitches. And it's all, um, I can't remember now if it's double crochet or, I think it was half double crochet. Nope, it was single crochet. Single crochet in the back loop only, so it gives it that ridged effect that I really liked. That's one thing that drew me to this pattern when I saw it. I just like the, the texture. <laughs> but um, yeah, this yarn is, uh, what is it called? Red Heart Hopscotch. <laughs> Red Heart Hopscotch. The colorway I think was Water Slide. This is um, just under two full balls of it. Like I had, I don't even know, maybe like 1 20th of a ball left. <laughs> Very small amount of yarn left um, of the second ball. This yarn was gifted to me, or uh, I got it through the giveaway from Debbie at the Canadian Crotcheter. <laughs> Um, she gave me three balls of it. So now I'm going to use the third ball to make a hat that matches it. I've been looking for a pattern that would look good with it. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I've already, you know, like tried it on and I like the way it looks. <laughs> it's really pretty and I love the way the colors of the yarns worked up. I just, it's a really pretty colorway. I've never worked with hopscotch and I wanted, I've actually been wanting to try it and then I got it in that giveaway. So that's really neat and that's the point of it. It's not super pointy. It's just like a gradual point. <laughs> But yeah, this yarn, it was really nice to work with. I hadn't worked with it before, like I said. And it's just pretty. I love the transition of the colors. The pattern is super duper easy. It's, it's all um, single crochet. Just single crochet and then increase and decrease. And easy peasy, yeah. I made this in like, I think two days. I probably could have made it in one day if I didn't have a toddler. <laughs> but um, yeah, I worked on it a lot while he was outside playing and I was sitting watching him. And yeah, it's just really cute. Every time I, I've read the, the ball band for uh, Red Heart Hopscotch, I keep er thinking of uh, the movie, the Tim Burton movie, Corpse Bride. Because in it, like the word that brings them back from the live world to the dead world is hopscotch. It's like the code word. So every time I was thinking about that or talking to Devin or somebody, I was like, hopscotch. I was saying it like they did in the movie. It's just funny. But yeah, I love this and I can't wait to wear it when it's cooler. I'm sure if you watch... Um, Probably not Vlogtober because it doesn't get that cold in October here. But if, if uh, you guys watch my Vlogmas this year in December, you'll probably see this a few times because I'll definitely be wearing it with a hoodie or an actual jacket. 
usually don't need actual jackets where I live. It's just hoodie weather most of the time. But yeah, I like it a lot. And I love this colorway. I'm going to be making a hat soon, like I said, and I'll be showing it too. All right, that's my only finished object this week. I thought I would have my vampire done, but then Jesse started getting sick on Saturday. And then, uh, well, he wasn't sick. He was just running a fever. He would have a fever, and then I'd give him Tylenol, and he would go away. And um, he did like three or four times that day. We did go to a picnic that day also, and we were gone like all day at it. So I was just really busy this weekend. <laughs> but yeah, so I got three whips, like I said, and I'll go ahead and show you that. I'll start with um, Vladimir the Vampire. I'm almost done with him. All I have left to do for him is his cape. Uh, and I started it earlier. So here he is. <laughs> Alright, this is a Made by Mary um, pattern. Her name is Mary Smith. This is a paid for pattern. Uh, but it's she's almost always got sales going on. And I think it was 30% um, off. I think it may still be 30% off. I'm not sure. But I'm doing this as part of her... Halloween crochet along that's going on. I think there's one more week. Yeah, it ends on the 30th um, to finish him and have him posted on the Facebook group, which the Facebook group is made by Mary C.A.L. and it's in the group section of Facebook if you search for it. And yeah, she does crochet alongs just about every month. I think a few times, like one or two months a year, she does it. But um, it's fun. And then at the end of it, she draws a few names to get free patterns. He does have a dowel in his head so that he's not like flopping all the way forward because if you would have made it without the dowel holding in his neck you know it would just be a floppy piece of crocheted material so and I did that with my Santa I think it's my Santa he's the first one I made uh he doesn't have anything and maybe the bunny I can't remember <laughs> I know the elf has a dowel in it and then he does and from now on I'm gonna put dowels but it's it's about a six inch uh piece of dowel I took a 12 inch one and cut it in half and um it's just you know he goes about three inches in his body and then in his head just to stabilize him and then you put stuff in around it really good to hold it upright but yeah he's cute i just literally finished his ears his nose his hair his bow tie and stitching on his face like i was doing that right before i started filming while my phone was charging and i did start on his cape i just made the chain and then I was like, well, I gotta film. <laughs> but yeah, so he will definitely be done in the next video because I'll probably finish him today or tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, um, in the actual pattern, his skin's supposed to be, well, it's, you know, her, when she made it, it, his skin was a light blue color and all the purple bits was red. But I like amethyst and I made, I had gray. This is a light gray. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, yarn <laughs> like your color for his skin because I thought that'd be good like dead vampire skin color but um his face and his hands his skin color is I love this yarn light gray I think and then uh his bow tie and his cumber bun is that what that's called cumber bun and then the inside part of his cape when I get it done is red heart super saver amethyst and then his shirt and yeah, his shirt is Red Heart Super Saver White, and then all the black is Red Heart Super Saver Black. His eyes, the white part is felt that my sister gave me, actually. It's sparkly. I don't know if you can see that, but I didn't have any solid white felt, but she gave me a bag of felt, and it had um, glitter on it, but I don't think it's super duper noticeable. It's not like crazy sparkly. It's just a little bit sparkly, but I mean, I guess you could have sparkly eyes. <laughs> and then his actual eyeballs... Um, are from Amazon. I'll try to remember to link those below because a few people have asked me where I get my eyes. I haven't ordered any from like Etsy or anything yet. Um, I just order them from Amazon. I look in, um, I look up safety eyes and there's like a bunch, like a kit on there that comes with a ton of eyes. Like I think it's 300 something eyes and then the backs for them for like under $10. And I've ordered that twice and used it. So yeah, I like them. They work good. I don't gift toys to kids, you know. It's just for here at the house or like my sister or something. So I don't know how well they hold up to children. Because Jesse, he's never been the kind of kid that picks up things like that to pull them apart. Uh, he will every now and then pull out stuff like this on amigurumis that I make. But he's never really messed with the eyes. So um, obviously, I know safety eyes, are they're called safety eyes. So you would think they'd be safe. But they do sometimes pop off. That's why a lot of times when people make toys for kids, they um, sew on uh, like crocheted eyes or they use like French knots or something just to be safer. But when you think about it, 
there's just as much much a chance of a kid gnawing off a sewn on piece of crochet as there is to them chewing off an eyeball so really I guess if you want to give something to a kid then you're worried about them choking it would be best to just give them things that are larger pieces put together so that if they did tear it apart they couldn't choke on it but yeah that was a tangent <laughs> but yeah this is the Vladimir pattern but what was it called it's called vampire amigurumi i don't know why i keep calling him vladimir i don't think that's his name <laughs> but um i'll have to name this one when i get done with it probably call him vladimir because that's what i've been calling him but i think he turned out so cute his face is so cute i think and i can't wait to get his cape done and have him sitting up somewhere for halloween jesse's at my mom's right now so all my halloween animals are up there in my flowers you can't see that vase right there but it looks like a skull it's glass and it looks like a skull it's actually a mug like a big giant drinking mug but I use it as a vase <laughs> but yeah he is from Mary Smith and I think he's I can't remember how much her patterns are maybe $5.99 or lower I can't remember but they're awesome I love her patterns very great patterns all right I got two more whoops one I have to go get because I completely forgot to grab it but I'll show you this one first this is also for another um Halloween crochet along that I'm doing right now. This is for the Underground Crafters crochet along. Um, this is the third week. The first week was this black cat, and the second week was that little Frankenstein, and then this third week is a ghost garland. I think it's called uh, Ghostly Garland, and I cannot say the person's name who designed it. I'm horrible at pronouncing names, but it will be linked below. And this is a paid for um, PDF on Ravelry, but if you go through the Underground Crafters crochet along page or if you just go to this the designer's website you can get it for free and it's a ghostly garland i've got one whole ghost done he's got strings so that i can attach them i have to sew this hole closed and attach them all together at the end so i gotta deal with those ends but this is the whole finished ghost i'm using um i don't have the ball bend to this but i'm i think this is a red heart I don't know if it's Erin or it's kind of like a you can't see it because the sunlight but it's not white and it's not brown it's like a beigey color but it's not buff I know it's not buff because this is I use buff a lot but it's definitely rough <laughs> so it's definitely a red heart but yeah it's like a granny square basically and a, uh, a ball <laughs> you start with the ball up here and you make the head of the ghost and then you attach it you keep going you don't cut I actually cut it off and I had to reattach it because I wasn't paying attention didn't read ahead of the pattern but you start making a granny square and then it just forms a granny square and then you do like a shell border on it with some picots in the corners but yeah I'm gonna make um you're supposed to make as many of these as you want so I'm gonna make five of them so that I can make a garland that I'll hang above our couch <laughs> from this year I don't know where I'll put it next year but um yeah I think it's actually a cute little just little ghost looking things I may put some faces on it or I may just leave it without faces I don't know I haven't decided yet but this is one completed ghost and then I have one that I'm working on it's still attached I'm on the granny square part of it <laughs> just started it and then I have the other three heads made because see I, I told you I didn't read ahead in the pattern I made all the heads first cut them all off and then I read ahead that you're supposed to just keep working you're not supposed to cut them off but I can easily attach and continue the pattern on. So I do have all the heads. <laughs> and yeah, I already said what that was, didn't I? Yeah. Now I'm gonna go get the other whip because I forgot it in there. Okay, <laughs> my last whip is, I've made this pattern before, but I'm getting it in again for my mom. And it's in a bag, I can't show you all of it. I'll show you a little sneak peek of it. This is part of the bag that it's in. Um, because it's a new design for a bag that I'm working on for my Etsy shop. This was like the first one I made and so it's got a lot of errors in it. Uh, so I'm just using it for myself um, as a project bag. But I'm planning on making more of these and you know doing it better <laughs> for my shop. But anyways, um, this is a shawl I'm making for my mom. I can't remember if I already said that. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's Hannah's pattern. It's the Treasure Island Shawl by Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Crochet. It is paper pattern but it's totally worth it. It's a beautiful pattern. I've made one before um out of yarn i got on vacation two years ago yeah when we went to gatlinburg uh, i bought some yarn at the smoky mountain spinnery there and i made that shawl out of it i actually tested this pattern for her and now i'm making it again for my mom and the yarn that i'm using is something i got a knit crate last month it's the um 
Oh gosh, I forgot the, the line of it. It's like Vitalana, I think, something like that. And the colorway was, I can't remember how to say it. It's Toppernod, it's olive stuff. <laughs> it's olive color. It's like a tonal olive. Y'all would have seen it if you watched um, my Knit Crate video or either Margaret Olander got the same color. A few other people got the same color. But yeah, so um, I am almost to the middle of the shawl. I'm still increasing, but I'm getting really close to where you work flat a little bit. So this is what I got so far of it. Ugh, it's real drapey, so it's hard to hold. <laughs> and right there's some of the eyelets that's in it. You can see it with my face behind it. <laughs> and it's getting bigger, and right there's some eyelets. But yeah, this is what I'm working on so far. And I'm using a stitch marker that Claudia from Crochet Luna sent me got an E on it. <laughs> this is this stitch marker is just showing me which side is the flat side. So I know when you know it's up on the top so I'll keep this part flat and I increase this part. <laughs> because sometimes when you're working on it unless you're holding it up straight like that uh, you you can't tell which side you're supposed to increase on. So I always try to put a stitch marker on the flat side so I know which one is the increase side. <laughs> but um, I need to get another stitch marker put here just so I can show y'all where I get to next week. I was working on this a lot for a while, but then when I started all these Halloween cows, I kind of put this aside because my mom's not going to need it for a little while because it's still, we live in Middle Tennessee, so it's not going to get cold here for a while. So she's not going to need it for just a little bit. But yeah, it's coming up pretty. I think she'll like it a lot because of the green color. She likes greens and browns and tonal color, or not tonal, earthy colors like that. So I think she'll like that a lot. But yeah, this bag, I'm excited about this bag. I really like this style, and I think a lot of other people will too. Um, yeah, it's a nifty little bag, and I'll show you guys hopefully in a couple of weeks when I get some made that I don't mess up. <laughs> all right, that is all my whips, I think. I have a few other things I'm supposed to be working on. Actually, I have a whole list of things that I need to work on between now and a few months. <laughs> I got some Christmas gifts that I want to start working on and some just personal things and um, stuff like that but I got them all written down on my computer so it's there and I, and I see it a lot so I know that I need to get working on it soon I'm just trying to get caught up on these crochet alongs because I do love doing crochet alongs because it's fun first to make the same pattern with a bunch of people because you can see how other people tweak it and change the colors and stuff to make theirs different but it's also fun to try to win prizes because <laughs> a lot of the crochet alongs give away pattern codes but a lot of them also give away awesome stuff like the underground crafters crochet along that i'm participating in which was these two patterns and this ghost pattern and then i think there will be two or three more patterns um for it i think it ends november 1st they're giving away all kinds of awesome stuff yarn and crochet hooks and project bags and patterns and pattern books and all kinds of cool stuff and so I'm looking really forward to that. I I'm so bad to win the crochet hooks because they're they're like polymer clay but they look like gemstones. Very neat. <laughs> but I guess I'll hop into some acquisitions real fast because I got some things um, this week that are crochet related <laughs> uh, that I'll, I thought I'd show you guys. First thing I picked up was this is my this is mainly for myself, but there are a bunch of each of these trinkets, so I might make some of these for the shop. But they, it's a little bag of 30, I think, Christmas themed <laughs> um, charms, I guess you would call them, for stitch markers. There's, uh, put it on my face so you can see it. There's a snowflake, a uh, candy cane, little tiny pine cones. Uh, stocking these are my favorite these are little silver bells I love this song silver bells and there's a movie called silver bells it's a Hallmark movie I really like it little mittens what else is in here oh Christmas tree and a snowman that says joy under it. Mm -hmm. I think that's all of them. Yeah, I think that's it. And then there's, I think there's six, did I show you guys six different ones? There's six different ones and there's five of each of them or something like that. <laughs> there's 30 all together. But yeah, those are super cute. Those will be stitch markers. I'm going to make a whole set for myself and then I might make 
the other ones and sell them or gift them. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to come up with an idea. <laughs> These next thing I bought is also for stitch markers and it is alphabet and number beads and hearts. <laughs> I wanted to make some hook marker stitch markers. You know, like so like if you're using an H hook on a project, you could use the the H stitch marker so you can remember what size hook you were using. Um there are quite a few of these. How many? There's 400 pieces. So there's a bunch of each alphabet <laughs> and number. So I'm going to make a few sets of these for the Etsy shop. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make full hook sets or if I'm going to make them in sets of like four or five. Because I know, you know, some people use the larger hooks and don't ever use the small ones. And some people use the small hooks and never use the larger ones. And some people like me use the ones in the middles. My favorite hooks are Elf through J. Those are like the hooks that I always use for all my projects. Elf is because most of my Emma Groomy patterns are elf hooks. And then for scarves and hats and things like that, I usually use G, H, I, and J for stuff like that. But, um, so, but like I never use B or C or nothing like that. So I don't know. Um, I might make a couple full sets and then some split up, but I can always go back and buy more of these beads. They're fairly inexpensive, and usually at Hobby Lobby, the beads, there's almost always some of them on 50% off. I'm pretty sure when I bought these the other day, they were 50% off, and they were only $6.99. Anyways, so that's not that bad. My other acquisitions is our local library has a big book sale twice a year. They have one in spring and one in February. Or February. <laughs> one in spring and one in fall is what I meant to say, and they just had theirs last weekend. Um, and I like to go there to get magazines because they're only 10 cents the first day and then they're 5 cents each the second day and then the third day they're free because uh, they're just trying to get rid of them. So we went the first day to look at books and then we went the third day which was Saturday to get the magazines for free. So I, I did get a bunch of magazines and but on the first day we went to get books um, I found some crochet ones. Actually that was not a crochet one. I only found two crochet ones. Most of them were knit and a ton of cross stitch. But um, the first crochet book that I found, and these were only a quarter each. So that's amazing. <laughs> and it is Cute Crochet for Tiny Tots 25 Modern Designs for Babies and Toddlers by he Helen Ard Ardley? 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 I can't say that word. <laughs> but yeah, it is just a book of a bunch of baby patterns kid patterns and I thought for quarter that's an amazing deal you know there's a ton of patterns in here it says 25 but it seems like way more than that to me and then this book I actually found two copies of and I went ahead and got both of them since they were only a quarter because um, I've got some giveaways coming up um, and I could throw one of the books in for the giveaway and it is uh, Better Homes and Gardens Forever Favorite Crochet this is what the book looks like. But I did get two copies of this. One for me and one for um, giveaway purposes. Let me see if I can hold it up there and show you all a little bit. Oh, what is in it? Oh, gosh. I'm having a hard time. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just... It's kind of old. Probably from like the 80s or something. I don't know. I didn't even read it. But they're still usable patterns. 84. So there's a lot of neat patterns in here that I thought about um, bookmarking for myself to make. So yeah, one of these will be going into my giveaway box for my future giveaways. I accidentally brought this book in here. It's not crochet. It's a, it's a, um, ooh, a Christmas stitchery. <laughs> it's a sewing book that I want. I am not a very awesome sewer. Like I sew project bags. That's it. I don't like, I can't make clothes and stuff. But um, there are some things that I want to try to start making. Like I thought this little bear on the cover was really cute. I want to try to make him. And he's small. He's really small. The pattern is, he's probably like five or six inches tall, if that. But there's placemats and things like that that I would like to learn how to make. And one thing I really want to learn how to make is curtains. Because we don't have hardly any curtains. We live in an apartment and they they furnish um, blinds. You know, I think every apartment does that. But um, I want to make cute curtains, and you know, I don't want just like solid color curtains. I want to make ones that fit us, <laughs> so patterned and stuff. So I want to learn how to crochet crochet cur uh, crochet. I want to learn how to sew <laughs> curtains, so we can make our own curtains. I said curtains a lot of times. 
all right one of the last things I had to talk about is my shop update which um, I added Halloween bags last week I think they are all currently 15% off in my shop that's all the project bags and the notion pouches are all 15% off so if you want a Halloween bag now would be time to grab one <laughs> and I just added last night some fall themed bags to my shop so I thought I'd show you guys those real fast and um, then you can go check them out or something if you want but um, I am planning on making more autumn themed bags uh, in the next week or so to have up through you know November all of October and through November and stuff so yeah I was just hopping and showing you the bags I'll start with this one there are two of this one and it is a print with pumpkins and sunflowers and little birds very cute and they're drawstring bags all my bags are right now but I am working on other designs there are two of these and it is a boxed bottom I can't really show it <laughs> I'm horrible at showing these but yeah there are two of these print and they have and there are also two notion pouches in there with zippers on them and they're lined with brown and then I have two I have two of this print but they're two different shapes <laughs> one of them is a box bottom like the one I just showed you and it's uh, leaves and like berries <laughs> I don't know just autumn print I thought it was pretty and then the other one I had to make it as a sack form because I was just sewing and listening to music like I was too and I completely I sold it all up without even leaving a turning hole in the right spot to make it a box bottom and instead of ripping it out I was like you know what I'm just gonna make it a sack because it makes them bigger you know it uses m more material for bag and less for the design so it's it's definitely it's it can hold more than the box bottom ones and there's also two Notion pouches in that print available. Also zipper and also laundry brown. That is brown. It's just a really dark brown. And then I have one of these. There were two of these, but one of them sold. And I love this print. <laughs> this is a pretty teal print. It's wrinkled because I was I have them folded <laughs> with orange pumpkins. Very pretty. Very pretty. I think it's got a boxed bottom. Drawstring. I don't know, I'll always show you, you guys know the drawstrings. It's got a really pretty caramel, I would say, I guess, color inside. And then it also has a Notion pouch with that caramel color in it. <laughs> this Notion pouch is larger than the ones I've been making. A lot larger. And it's because I figured out a better way to do the zippers. So from now on, my Notion pouches will be this size. These ones are about... Uh, six inches wide by five inches tall, I think and this one is Closer to seven and a half inches wide by six inches tall. I think No, about five five inches tall just larger uh, And I like it that way actually personally. I would like to eventually start making Even smaller bags for just like stitch markers and things, but I'm having a hard time finding small zippers <laughs> like the little thin ones not shorter because you know you can take any zipper and cut it to the length you want it but there are some that have smaller zippers <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense but um like the the bag that I use that I got at the thrift store for my stitch markers has a way smaller thinner zipper so I'm going to try to find some of those but anyways that's my autumn bags right now up in the shop and uh, I'm going to be making more soon and like I said the Halloween themed project bags and notion pouches are all 15% off right now in the shop Right, I think that's just about everything uh, to talk about except for ver one very important thing and it is I have hit over 2,000 subscribers which is amazing that's a lot of people like I don't even think I've never met that many people I think it's crazy that I've hit that many people and that that many people like watch me <laughs> but it's super exciting and I love to see that my channel is growing and I love to see people commenting and joining the Facebook group and all the community that is uh, that uh, that's been created here on the YouTube <laughs> that makes sense I don't know but I am gonna be having a giveaway for my 2,000 subscriber celebration um, 
I actually I procrastinated getting ready for it. So I'm in, my proce I'm in the process right now of getting ready for it. I just ordered some stuff this morning for the giveaway. And I'm going to be making project bags because there's going to be two winners. I'm going to pick one winner from the video when I put it out. It's not this video, but it'll be named 2000 subscriber giveaway or something like that. Um, there'll be one winner from that and there'll also be one winner from the Facebook group. And um, I'm already, you know, like I said, I ordered some stuff and I'm planning on making some project bags and notion pouches and things like that. So uh, I'm hoping to get that up in the next week or two, but things have just been slowed down a lot because of, you know, being a taller mom and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully I can get that up soon <laughs> just to show my appreciation for all of my subscribers. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything. I need to hop off here because I'm not feeling too good. I want to get a snack and sit here and watch Father Brown on Netflix, which is an awesome show, by the way. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, which will hopefully be soon. Bye, guys.